The term ancient East Eurasian refers to a major human genetic lineage ancestral to indigenous populations of the Asia-Pacific region. This includes modern East and Southeast Asians, Oceanians, Siberians, indigenous South Asians and Native Americans. The ancient East Eurasians originated from a single population expansion around 48,000 years ago. They expanded outgoing from a population hub on the modern Iranian plateau. Ancient East Eurasians expanded via a star-like pattern. Basal East Eurasians are represented by the 45,000-year-old Uast Ishim individual in northern Central Asia and the 40,000-year-old Bacho Kiro and Oase individuals in southeastern Europe. These deep lineages went extinct, but left some traces in later European hunter-gatherers. The ancestors of all modern East Eurasians migrated along a southern route into South Asia, where they diverged into the ancestors of ancient ancestral South Asian hunter-gatherers, Basal East Asians in mainland Southeast Asia, and Basal Australasians in the Saul region. A single major migration of modern humans into the continents of Asia and Saul was strongly supported by earlier studies using mitochondrial DNA, the non-recombining portion of Y chromosomes, and autosomal SNP data ancient South Asians, East Asians and Andamanese, as well as Australians and Papuans all derive from the eastward dispersal of an ancient East Eurasian population. The Hugo Pan-Asian SNP consortium investigated the genetic diversity within present-day Asian populations. They found a strong correlation with latitude, with diversity decreasing from south to north. The correlation continues to hold when only mainland Southeast Asian and East Asian populations are considered, and is perhaps attributable to a serial founder effect. These observations are consistent with the view that soon after the single eastward migration of modern humans, East Asians diverged in Southeast Asia and dispersed northward across the continent. The three East Eurasian branches are the Asi lineage for indigenous South Asians, the Isia lineage for indigenous East and Southeast Asians including the Andamanese as most basal group, and the AAA lineage for indigenous Oceanians or Australasians. Together they form the broader Ancestral Asian Cluster, also known as East Eurasian Core. Ancient South Asians contributed in significant amounts to modern South Asians. Around 40 to 60 percent of the ancestry of modern Indians, Sri Lankans and Bengalis is derived from the Asi. Around one-third of the ancestry of modern Pakistanis is derived from the Asi, and lower amounts of the ancestry of Afghans and Iranians. The Asi populated South Asia since around 45,000 years ago. The oldest genetic evidence for East Asian-like ancestry is found among the 40,000-year-old Tianyuan man from northern China, as well as among historical Huibinhian hunter-gatherers of Southeast Asia and the Andamanese Islands. These two groups are defined as Basal East Asians and represent sister lineages to the ancestral East Asians of southern and central China. Around 30,000 years ago, a branch of ancestral East Asians migrated into Japan and gave rise to the Jomon hunter-gatherers. Subsequently, around 25,000 years ago, ancestral East Asians expanded northwards and southwards giving rise to ancient Northern East Asians and ancient Southern East Asians. These two groups became ancestral to modern East, Northeast and Southeast Asian ethno-linguistic groups. They massively expanded in subsequent centuries all over Siberia and Central Asia as well as into maritime Southeast Asia and the wider Indo-Pacific region. Last but not least, Native Americans derive most of their ancestry from an early East Asian-derived branch via Siberia. The peopling of Oceania and Australasia is more complex. The oldest evidence for modern humans suggests that Basal Australasians arrived around 40,000 years ago in the Sahul region. They subsequently diverged into ancestral Ata of the Philippines, ancestral Papuans and ancestral Australians around 38 to 35,000 years ago. Geniflo from a Hoabinhian or Tianyuan-like populations into parts of the Sahul region and the Philippines is evident in the genome of modern Ata and ancient samples from South Sulawesi. Beyond that, Australasians harbour an increased level of archaic admixture, peaking among the Ata and Papuans. Papuans may also harbour 2 to 10% deep human admixture from a possible earlier out of Africa migration, which went extinct elsewhere. Basal East Asian ancestry also entered the gene pool of modern Europeans via indirect geniflow from the ancient North Eurasians, who derived around 50% of their ancestry from a Tianyuan, or Huebinian like, population, and in turn contributed substantially to Eastern European hunter gatherers. Eastern European hunter gatherers carried between 13. To 31%. Basal East Asian ancestry. 
the modern Europeans derive between 10 to 20 percent ancestry from ancient North Eurasian, which means there is around 5 to 10 percent basal East Asian ancestry among modern Europeans. This geniflow of deep East Asian ancestry may be correlated with the spread of subclades of paternal haplogroup P1, specifically basal R clades. EP clades were nearly exclusively found among Huabinhian rich populations of Southeast Asia, while the Tianyuan man carried paternal haplogroup K2b, which is ancestral to P1. R1 clades, such as R1a and R1b, became dominant among the Yamnaya and related cultures of the Pontic Caspian steppes through a bottleneck and founder effect, and subsequently spreaded with Indo European speakers.